Hello, welcome to Ludic Science. In this video, I will talk about this little component, the DEC. Sometimes it is called an AC diode, but actually it has little to do with diodes. It is from the family of the thyristors and it is a bidirectional AC switch. It is normally in an open state, that is the current cannot flow, but when the voltage reaches a certain value, it starts to conduct and stays in the conductive state until the current that flows through the device reaches a certain minimum value, a few milliamps. It has no polarity, that is why it is called bidirectional, and therefore you can connect it either way. Next time you need a PCB for your electronics project, consider using the professional services of JLC PCB. JLC PCB is the world leader in PCB fabrication. You can order online. You just need to register, upload your Gerber file, and wait a few days for your PCBs at an unbeatable price. This is the symbol of the DIAC and here you can see a typical circuit. You connect the device in series with your load and connect it to an AC source. The DIACs come in different voltage ranges. I am using for this example the DB3 and the 3 is because it fires at 30 volts. So, as we mentioned before, when the voltage is less than 30 volts, this is open and no current flows through the circuit. I'm going to draw the current. But when the voltage is at 30 volts, it starts to conduct and remains in the conductive states. Here we reach the maximum voltage and then we go again to the 30 volt level but it continues to conduct until the voltage is very small and therefore the current is also very small. When the current is a few milliamps then the DIAC opens and no current flows again. So there is no current until we reach again the value of 30 volt negative. Remember that it has no polarity. So again, when the, when the voltage is at the minus 30 volts, it starts to flow the current again. And we have the second part of the cycle. Therefore, current will flow in this part of in this part of the wave. Here and here, there will be no power through the circuit. Okay, let's make a test. Here I have the DIAC connected in series with the load, which is an LED lamp. And there is a resistor in series in order to limit the current through the LED. Because the DIAC permits the flow of all the available current and we could damage the LED. So I will connect it to this transformer. This is AC of course, but it is a 12 volt transformer. So since the voltage is less than the firing voltage of 30 volts, our LED should not turn on. So you can see it is not on. Now it is connected to 120 volts so let's turn on and there you have it now the LED is on actually it is turning on and off when the voltage reaches the value the firing point of 30 volts however this happens too fast for the eye to notice it so that is the basic behavior 
of this little component, the DIAC. In a forthcoming video, I will show you some simple applications of this device. That's all for today. Thanks for coming to my channel and see you in the next video.